Alright guys, what's up? I'm here to teach y'all how to um, add a background image or or any background to an image. So first off, um, if you already have an image with a solid color background or transparent background, you want to select tools, selection tools, and fuzzy select. And then you just want to select the background. Uh, that uh, You just want to select the background. And uh, I, the reason I have this little white line going over here is because where the horse's hair is at um, is black so when I select fuzzy select it selects his hair too that's something you can't help so now you want to um, depending on what kind of background you want you want a if you want to use gradient then you go just do that and your background is there or if you wanted to add a pattern or some type of background now if you don't have an image with a um, if you don't have an image with a solid color background it's very easy to make it that way so what you want to do is you want to select the path tool and zoom in um, I'm going to zoom in at 200% and just uh, s select around the image. The m don't forget, the more you zoom in, the uh, closer you'll be to the edge. And that means the more uh, better the image will look. So you just outline the edge of the object you're trying to uh, put a background on. And uh, this will just take a couple seconds. I'm just going to cut off the hair so that problem before wouldn't happen I'm sure the horse will still look pretty nice without his hair alright and now you want to just zoom out and just sort of go around the image till you get to the beginning and then you want to select uh, select from path and now you just want to just like before uh, put a background there, so see, looks real, uh, and uh, I'll just show you. All right, so that's how you add a background to an image. Um, I'm going to make another video on how to add another image as a background, so don't worry if you were wondering. Um, thanks for watching the tutorial, and peace out.